Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Moon from Korea Board Games looking at Four Gardens, a uh, game with a very interesting setup here. Yeah, this tower. Is. I hope you can show off how this works. Yeah, I mean, the most obvious thing about this game, obviously, is the pagoda. Mm -hmm. uh, when you start, there's going to be a bunch of resources. There's going to be water, wood, stone, and leaf. Okay. And um, each player faces one side of the pagoda. Okay. So if you, if you see your side, there's three waters. If you see this side, there's one water, none, no wood, uh, two rocks, three leaves. So in the end, when you start, it's balanced. Okay. Everyone starts with zero of one, one of one, two, three. Okay. And um, you can turn it left and right. If you turn the top level, um, only the top level obviously will turn. If you turn the second, top two will turn. Okay. Three, well, yeah, you get the idea, right? And then four, all four will turn. So why this is important, I'll tell you. Every player starts with a storage space. See this? One, two, three, four. OK, so when you collect your resources, you're, you will have certain cards like this. Now, if you look at the card, it's divided in two. The bottom means you need these resources to complete the card. To complete it, uh, when you put the resources, you complete the card and flip it over, and you score points. Now, the top half is collecting resources or transferring resources. Is divided by the right picture, which is usually a pagoda with a direction. Now, for this, in this case, it's the topmost level of the pagoda. Mm -hmm. You will turn it left or right. Can you actually see it? Yep. You turn it left or right, and then you collect resources bottom to top. So, okay. for example, well, for, first of all, uh, in or for you to collect resources, I guess you will need to have several cards that you want to finish, right? Yes. You have three actions per turn. Let's say you have five cards like this. You have five cards like this. And in, in, in your deck, there's um, uh, a bunch of cards of the same set. How do you know what's in the same set? I'll compare these two cards. This has three dots. This means it's a second card in a three card set. Okay. There's four dots here, and this is, there's a highlight in the second one. This means that this is the second card in a four card set. Now, since this is in the same set, I would take three actions to put the cards down. So I put these three down, and I would use these other two cards uh, to collect resources. Not every round you actually do refill your hand, but there's a little bit of, uh, it's a bit cramped, so I'll just uh, make it shorter. Now, the pagoda. I discard this card, and I turn the pagoda left or right. Now, you can peek over to your left or your right, to see what resources matches you. But remember, uh, for this one, you collect resources top to bottom. You need four water droplets, three leaves, and one rock, right? Yes. So you need the most water droplets. There's no water here. If I look over here, there's two, so there's something. So for me, the most efficient choice, I guess, would be this one. Now, I get two water droplets. I fill them in my storage, and that, now it's wood, right? Two woods. I would like to fill in more, but obviously I don't have any storage space, right. so I can't. So how do you transfer the resources from your storage into your card? You have to discard another card. I mentioned a while ago there's a pagoda on the right side. Mm -hmm. On the left side, there's always a card. So you will discard this card. It's another action, and you'll use the cart. And when you use the cart, you can transfer your resources like so. But you can't put this, right? right. You can choose to discard it which is okay. probably the, the smart choice. So you will discard it, but eventually you will complete your cards. Now I think for me, the interesting part about this game is scoring. The reason is some players will choose to go for low sets, such as this one. Here there's only two cards in the set, and there's a reward for completing sets. For example, if you complete a set, you can either get a free storage slot, okay. you could inject four resources without going into your storage directly onto your card so you can complete them faster. Okay. These are one-time use, by the way, so. Or just four points. Mm -hmm. Or just four points. And you can't get more than one of each type of bonus. Okay. So usually there's that rushing play style, but I like the other play style where you go, where you go for four or five set cards. And the reason is this. How scoring works, um, here, everyone starts at three. If you see here, there's a two, three, four, five, six until the number 10. So that, theoretically, the maximum points each person can get is 40, right? But games never actually work out that way because you're competing. So let's say you complete this card first. You don't have to complete it in order. You complete this card, 
let's say I'm black. Now, I will move one cell from three to four because I completed one. Right. Now let's say I complete this card next. I got a purple. So I move one purple block, uh, one black block on the purple um, scoring sheet, mm -hmm. and then I get to move this again. Okay. So the strength of the big card sets is that you can exponentially increase your score. Okay. This is the Joker, so you can choose what color you want. Okay. And as usual, let's say you finish this card, purple goes up, and then uh, purple blue, and blue goes again. up, and you can choose again. Okay. Now if it was you, what would you increase? You would increase the blue, if possible. Oh, you would. Mm -hmm. uh, you're pretty aggressive. Trying to maximize. I would do the same thing, okay. because let's say, um, let's say theoretically you were in this spot and you didn't play this yet. Um, okay, now you complete it, then you move one purple. You move one blue, but you can't move anymore, right? Okay. What you can do is move everyone back, one cell. Okay. And now the Joker uh, activates again, so you can move blue again if you want, and you can knock them out of the entire game for the blue cell. Okay. All so right. it's different, a var variety of play styles. Some people like to be very even. I like to be very aggressive, but yeah, everyone on his own. Yeah, we come back over this way. Yeah. Okay. So, and when does the game end? At what point? Um, it depends on the number of players. Um, for example, if uh, three people are playing, it's I, think, I believe eight cards completed. Okay. Then you finish the round, and then you you count the score. Okay. All right. Thank so, you very yeah. much, Moon, for our overview of Four yeah. Gardens from Korea Board Games. Thank yeah. you.